Hello, hello, hello. Um, okay, today I'm going to be looking at the Elphone P2000. This phone came out 2014, late 2014, uh, and uh, you might be asking, well, why am I uh, reviewing an old phone? Well, uh, to be honest with you, it's uh, it's on at a good price. I got it soup.com in KSA. I see in eBay on eBay that its uh, price is between 120, 180 dollars. Um, you may find it on Cooly Cool, Banggood, or Gearbest, or, or AliExpress, a, a more competitive competitive price. Um, but two reasons I bought it. Uh, the main reason was uh, it wasn't the price. Was the color. Yeah, I like the yellow. Looks cool. Um, also, it's Elphone, and my uh, experience with Elphone, for those uh, uh, the uninitiated, my experience with Elphone is they're one of the better uh, Chinese manufacturers of uh, a pretty decent uh, budget up to more expensive, uh, like the Elphone Vaune uh, budget phones. Uh, phones that are kind of mid-range and relatively high spec phones this will be my fourth L phone I had one a couple of years ago I don't remember the number of it but it looked similar to this um, I didn't have it for very long and I sold it and the person who bought it at a very good price uh, she uh, was very happy <coughs> I recently had uh, not for review but I recently had for use of myself was the Elphone P9000 um, which I think is an excellent uh, phone uh, it's about $199 uh, what a, a really great screen NFC wireless charging got everything although my brother tells me he bought one and he cannot use uh, Google uh, Pay uh, which uses NFC something to do with the uh, MTK processors something like that so it's something to kind of be aware of that uh, it, it Google Play at uh, Google Pay sorry doesn't um, work with uh, MTK NFC um, I also had the uh, Elphone S one, I think it's called the S1. I'm not exactly sure of that number, but um, I had it uh, recently, but I didn't have it for very long um, because uh, somebody was buying it from me, so I really only got to turn it on. But you can check it out. It was about $167. Now this look, this phone was looked really cool. It's five inch screen, but it was almost a uh, bezel had no bezels. It was bezelless, um, uh, so the screen almost took up the whole. Uh, in front of uh, that five inch uh, body and yeah and, and the, the quality of it I thought was excellent the feel of it, it just felt very premium for the price it's definitely well worth checking out so back to this uh, P2000 um, spec wise 5.5 inch HD 720p screen Okay, MediaTek octa-core processor clocked at 1.7. It's got 2 GB of RAM, uh, 16 GB internal memory, dual SIM. Uh, it's uh, NFC, SD card, and fingerprint sensor. So uh, it stands out. Um, it's not 4G. It's only 3G, but you know, really, that's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, it stands out really for the the budget side of it is the fact that it's NFC although it's MTK NFC and it has a fingerprint scanner so um, yeah that's a pretty uh, good function to have the screen uh, it's pretty sharp it's I mean, it's not pin sharp but it is 720 so what do you expect on 5.5 uh, inch but if you're looking at it now on full brightness I would be happy with this screen if I was using it on a daily basis. I suppose if you look in very, very closely to the icons, oh, 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 you might see some uh, kind of graininess. Um, but really, you know, it's very pleasing on the eye. So for the price, yeah, I'd be happy enough uh, with this. I did try it with my uh, trusty Jaybird uh, Bluetooth earphones. 
just to hear what the sound was. Yeah, and it's perfectly acceptable. Okay, it's not like my uh, King 7, the PPT TV King 7, or the Uli phone uh, that I had that have this, uh, the DAC, which is, uh, you know, will, it's like it gives you hi fi quality uh, sound. So it's nothing like that. But really, for kind of on the, on the go day to day, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, the external speaker that's on full uh, loudness it's not that loud but really you're not really going to be using your external speaker for listening to your music I don't think or maybe you are um, but it's uh, I wouldn't say that it's the loudest that I've heard so maybe for casual kind of use it's okay um, with regards to any uh, pre-installed apps, there's very, very little. I uh, see super users here. Um, I uns I installed the Antutu, uh, so which I'll open here. There was nothing else really installed, so free of uh, bloatware. Uh, the Antutu uh, score was uh, 27635, which is uh, to be expected for uh, this uh, phone, but it's not bad. So uh, really for a two-year-old phone, that score is not bad. And in my time of using it, uh, it's been, uh, I don't notice anything, it's pretty smooth. Uh, call quality, I put in my SIM card to uh, call my wife. She says hello. Um, and yep, sounded okay. Those who have listened to my other reviews will know that um, using a phone as a phone is not the main reason I have a phone. Uh, so I'm not really that big on the call quality. Uh, it was uh, the, really it was totally acceptable on this. So what are you going to say? Camera. Now it's stated in the uh, blurb that this. Uh, camera was a uh, 13 megapixel uh, main camera and uh, 8 uh, front camera. I doubt it. It's probably more 8 and 3 or 8 and 5. I took this photo as you can see my uh, Gydream X uh, tablet there and I will just zoom in. I'll try and do this. Get closer, closer and you will see. Sorry. Here we go again it does become pretty noisy there it's pretty grainy um, so it's not going to be taking your wedding photos okay it's all right for casual snapping um, but nothing to uh, ask Santa for with regards to your camera um, but it's fine um, going back to the phone itself I like it I like the look of it Okay, it's reminiscent of, uh, I've had three Nokia phones, I think it's 920, 1020, or 930, 1020, and 1520, or 30. Uh, the, the last one was the 6-inch uh, screen, uh, but and, and I really liked all of them. They were all yellow, um, and the, the only downside was that the were Windows phones and it became too frustrating to be honest with you to use uh, the Windows uh, phone so um, so it's kind of reminiscent of that kind of vibe it's maybe got a wee bit of um, a Sony Xperia Z vibe going on as well um, you can see here's quite nice at the top here's like a almost like a carbon fiber effect on the top it doesn't have that on the oh no it does have it on the bottom as well it's kind of uh, rough there I suppose you could use it for filing your nails in an emergency um, so it, and it's pretty light uh, so it's for me aesthetically wise I think it looks pretty cool um, it's still uh, com you know compared to some of the phones okay it's a bar phone and you know it's not really much you can do about these uh, but yeah I think it looks uh, okay no, it looks better than okay I think it looks nice I like the yellow um, there is the uh, what do you call it the micro USB and the headphone uh, jack what else what else can we look at here okay the big uh, disappointment one would say and I did try it and see if there was any updates this is only running uh, Android KitKat so that might be a deal breaker for some people for me I'm not that bothered 
I'm selling it. And most people who buy these phones from me are, are usually pretty happy. I will usually support them uh, if they ha face any issues, especially if they don't get an update. And I would imagine that if there's no wireless update from L phone now, there probably won't be. But you never know. Could be surprised. It might get a lollipop update. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, but that's, I suppose, uh, for maybe some people might be a bit of a uh, a downer. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, it's relatively uh, on the thin side. It's not um, a thick body at all. Uh, as I said before, it is nice and light. The uh, what came in the box, nothing much, just a normal charger and a extra screen saver. Uh, sorry, screen protector. <laughs> The it, the screen does have one uh, on it at the moment. Usually these phones don't have your fancy Gorilla uh, Glass for the most part. Not saying that they they, uh, they all don't have it, but usually the kind of cheaper end ones don't. So the uh, the manufacturer will usually put a screen protector on it. And again, for most people, uh, that will be totally um, acceptable. So. Not much else to say about it. Um, I, I think for people who uh, may be considering, uh, um, uh, you know, getting into Chinese phones, I don't think it's a bad offering at all. Uh, I think it looks nice. I think on your general day-to-day -day, uh, usage, you won't find any problems. The cameras, I suppose, mediocre, uh, but you know, if that's not uh, a big deal to you, then. I just think for the the look of it and the feel of it, yeah, I mean it's worth what I I think it's worth what I paid for it, and I will I will sell it um just for about the same uh, same price. One thing I did notice uh, with the snap on back here, I don't know if you can see it here, uh, it's not 100% closed or flush there. There's still a wee bit of a gap. Um, you'll find that sometimes with these clip-on uh, backs, uh, sometimes they're not 100% uh, uh, fit, fitted. I might fiddle around with it later and see. Um, but well, I mean, uh, probably will get a cover on it at some point. Whoever's going to buy it will get a cover on it. Uh, and I would say that's about it. Should you buy it? I've asked that question. Well. If you've got some spare money, then it, yeah, why not? Uh, there's some other good phones around at the same price, and there's some better phones definitely at the same price, uh, spec wise, uh, and uh, some of them are are becoming uh, with the aluminium unibody etc. But a lot of people still prefer the, um, you know, you, you be able to uh, you know update the battery or, or remove the battery. Uh, a lot of people still prefer to do that. Me, I'm not that bothered. I just like the look of it. I like the L phone uh, logo here, um, and I just like the the, the nice um, color. And I think as a, a day to day uh, phone that you'd just be using for uh, casual browsing, Facebook, etc. Yeah, I think it's more than acceptable. So, yeah, well done, uh, L phone. Yellow, we like. We like it a lot. As usual, anybody got any questions or any comments, etc., etc., uh, leave them at the bottom and I will do my best to uh, answer them. And uh, that's it. So, Elphone P9, P, sorry, P2000, yellow. Bye.